Hi there, Frank here from Remek, and in this short video, we'll take another look at the back testing process here. This time I'm going to use BT, and it's April 3rd, 2023, so the first quarter is over. And last time we ran a back test for, I think it was like a 15 month period. So this time we're going to just keep it this year from January 1st to the end of March, first quarter of 2023 and the usual settings no optimization i'm just using the default settings the only thing i'm doing that there are two contracts and just like last time the first contract 1.5 atr profits and then i'm going to trail the remaining contract from a distance of two atrs which will be then tightened gradually and I'm not using any time filters, so this is going to run 24-7. Obviously, that's not what we would do in real life, probably. So, otherwise, it's just chop filter, everything is turned on. Default settings, five signals in a trend, no higher time frame filtering. All right, so that's about it. Let's run this test and see what we get. And I'm running it on a whole bunch of futures contracts, the most popular or frequently traded futures contracts, probably. So let's see. Okay, so here are the results. Just like last time, I'm going to sort this by performance. Here we go. So NQ came out on top, just like in the other test. There we go. Pretty impressive equity curve. So again, this is January 1st to the end of March on a 15 minute chart running 24 seven, no discretionary decisions and NQ, ZN. So here you can see the top performers, anything over or bigger than a 1.00 is considered a pretty good performance here. And I'm just looking at some of the results here. Now, this is of course not proof of anything. The reason I'm doing this video is to encourage further work. Now, after this initial step is done, I think what you could do in your work before you proceed to walk forward optimization, for example, so further tests uh, possible in NinjaTrader, what you could consider is your particular circumstances, which instruments fall inside your risk profile at all. So for example, SI, ZB, pretty large contracts, not for everybody, coffee is pretty big. Perhaps you want to analyze the main contract, but trade the micro if it's liquid enough. So there are various considerations here that you can think over. And also in the settings, you can think over how many accounts, how many contracts you want to trade, whether you want to take profits, what these order set settings should be in your situation. And also, I think importantly is what times of the day you want to trade. So you are able to set up trading hours, perhaps keep a lunch break or only trade the morning session. It's all up to you. Another consideration is, of course, whether you want to enter with limit order or market order. In this situation, I use limit order with a one tick back from the last price. So that also means that often, probably in this test, we didn't get filled. And that's just trying to simulate what would happen often in real life as well. The usual constraints of any back test are valid, so this is not real life, this never happened, and the future going forward is never the same as the past. So with all those disclaimers and considerations, you're encouraged to look at this closely, whether you want to use a higher time frame as a filter, and uh, I think that's about it. Those are the most important considerations, in my mind anyway, at this point. So you're most welcome to run this test and 
incorporate the results into your rock solid business plan. If you'd like to receive more information about our products, feel free to write to us at remec.ca slash contact. Thank you very much and mindful trading. Thank mm-hmm. you.